let's take a look at another mode of regulation. Riboswitches are a bacterial phenomena. Riboswitches form when the five prime ends of messenger RNAs fold over to form quite specific secondary and tertiary structures as they emerge behind the RNA polymerase during transcription. In this example, the mRNA shown is in the pathway for purine biosynthesis. If cellular concentrations of guanine, a purine base, are low, the gene is actively transcribed. But if guanine concentrations are high, the cell requires less guanine. Then the excess guanine recognizes and binds to the stem loop structure at the 5' prime end of the mRNA, and the riboswitch region undergoes a conformational change, forming a new stem loop structure that looks and functions a lot like the transcription termination sequences that we've seen normally form at the 3' prime end of many prokaryotic RNAs. The result is, as you see, the dissociation of the RNA polymerase from the DNA and a premature termination of transcription. You can think of this mechanism of regulation as being at the level of bacterial transcriptional elongation.